Hi, I'm Jason, and my name's Alex, and today we're going to talk to you about how to elevate a key. So, we get phone calls every single day from architects, PCs, contractors. They see all the potential that we can offer, but sometimes aren't sure what they need for their specific project. Today, we're going to talk to you and show you that the process of figuring it out is a lot more simple than you think, and show you how to elevate your keys. So, our first line of defense is our five inch rubber pedestal. Now, this pedestal is actually designed to follow the natural slope or contour of the roof. And because it's rubber, it creates a soft surface for the pedestal for pavers to rest upon. They're extremely resilient against harsh weather conditions and uh, a really good option. They, now even if you were to lay out your paving system perfectly, you're gonna have pavers that rock at different times. So we have actually shims that come with this specifically, an eighth of an inch and a sixteenth of an inch. Um, they can be modified to just go in the corner or rest on the entire pedestal. And this, again, is a really good option. Now, the five inch pedestal is not stackable. So if you actually need to try to achieve an inch, uh, a height higher than the radius of an inch, you're gonna wanna go with our high cap pedestal. Now, this uh, pedestal is stackable um, up to what we recommend two inches um, when you get to that, you would end up using the shims that we have with this specifically as well. They can rest on top of the pedestal, and with three of these and an eighth of an inch pedestal, you can automatically now are at your two inches. Correct, yeah. And once you get at that two inches, it's more cost effective to go with our elevator pedestal. Um, the first elevator, our small cell elevator pedestal, is our two inch base, two inch top pedestal. And you can see the same type of design, it has the eight inch spacer tabs on top, but it's adjustable. So you're able to achieve with this specific pedestal height from two inches up to three inches in height with the top pedestal. The tabs on top can be modified in certain areas. Um, they have lugs here at the bottom that the stay bar can be clipped into, which we'll talk about a little later. Um, but what we recommend is a minimum insertion of one and a half reds. Yeah. So that's going to be about three turns with your elevator pedestal, which will give you that minimum thread insertion to keep that pedestal top properly secure in the base. Yeah. Now, any heights higher than three inches, we have a three inch base, three inch top pedestal, and that ranges from three inches to four and three quarters of an inch. Um, same type of design, it's just the base and the top a little higher in elevation. Um, same minimum insertion for the threads. Um, and yeah, like like I said, the tops are modified, and that's going to get you to about four and three quarters of an inch. Now, once you get to four and three quarters, you can transition to our four inch base, four inch top pedestal, which offers the largest range with our elevator pedestal. Four and three quarters to seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters, correct. Um, now, with this, what you can use, what you can start to utilize if you need to achieve heights higher than seven and three quarters of an inch. Can add a coupler and what that coupler does is goes it inserts into the base and then the top the pedestal top inserts into the top of the coupler now the coupler itself extends the height two and a half inches up to four inches so in this case this configuration we're using a three inch base a coupler and then a four inch top yep. which is going to get you around seven and three quarters to about ten inches exactly now finally what we recommend um, to get the heights up to 16 inches yep. is using two couplers, a four inch base and a four inch top. Yep. That 16 inch mark is where we feel comfortable with our pedestal systems as it is, besides using special bracing requirements. Anything above that will require something else, but we'll get into that for a little bit later on. Yeah. So all these components can be used with probably our most important um, pedestal component, which would be our compensator. The compensator is a seven and three eighth inch diameter, which it's able to properly secure all of our elevator pedestals and also our hot stackable high pad pedestals. Yeah. Now, what the compensator does is it compensates for an eighth of an inch per one foot roof pitch. It's half inch thick and it's a tapered design. Um, in this case, since we're stacking two of them, we're compensating for a quarter of an inch per one foot roof pitch. Exactly. Um, there's a bunch of different numbers, letters, and configurations on here, and we have a PDF on our website, which kind of lays it out and tells you in which direction, which orientation you are laying the compensator in order to adjust for a certain pitch. Right. And like you said, the high tabs work in conjunction with this, and also our elevator. 
how they got them into all some really good shims are not just um, proprietary to the high tech. They also can be used with the elevators as well. If you have elevators that are rocking or are right. just need that extra eighth of an inch, these can be used as well. Absolutely. So let's get into our example here. As you can see, we set up a little display and we're creating a level deck using our normal two foot by two foot pavers, two yeah. inches thick. And we have it laid over a minimum of 60 PSI insulation and it's tapered system. Yep. So this tapered system in particular is a slope of a quarter of an inch per one foot. Yep. So you can see at our highest point here, we have two compensators and we have stacked three high tap pedestals on top of those. So our minimum threshold at this specific point is about two and seven eighths of an inch. Exactly. Um, We've also utilized our perimeter spacers here on the edge to help to maintain an eighth of an inch uh, joint throughout the entire system. Correct. Yeah. So the pedestal tops and the tabs on those pedestals maintains your eighth, maintains your eighth of an inch joint throughout the system, yeah. and that perimeter spacer helps give you that buffer zone and that threshold, that not the threshold, but the spacing between the edge of the paper and your edge condition. Exactly. Which in this case would be our canvas rocker. Exactly. Um, in this case, with the compensators. We are pointing this A or this arrow in the direction of our high point. So that's kind of the standard. If it's an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, yeah. um, with these, you want that A point for the high point. So every pedestal in this system is the compensators are facing in the same direction. Yeah, let's say if, if, if the slope was greater, they could just stack essentially more compensators. Correct. Yeah, we recommend up to four, which will get you about half an inch, which should be plenty for your roof application. Um, in this case, since we're starting at two and seven eighths of an inch, yep. we're transitioning from a stackable pedestal into an elevator pedestal. Yep. So in the center here, we have our two inch base, two inch top pedestals. Um, Which also had to modify. Yes, correct. Because as you can see, they're pushed back here. So opposed to having the two taps here, we broke those off mm -hmm. and then slid the entire point of contact back. Yep. So these are pretty easily modified out in the field. Yep. You score the tab on the sides and then you could Break it off. Yeah, these were scored beforehand. Yeah, so they were scored. Them, so. They scored. They were scored beforehand. Um, one thing to take into consideration when you break those off, they leave a little bit of a residue on top. Yep. Um, if you begin to lay those pedestals, you'll start to have pavers out wrong. You want to make sure that residue from the broken tab is completely grinded it off or sanded off, so that's flush with the top of the pedestal. That way, you're avoiding pavers that rot, and um, you avoid any lippage. So you also want to keep these broken off spacer tabs. Say if you didn't have the perimeter spacer, you could glue these tabs onto the edge of your paper mm -hmm. to help maintain that eighth of an inch um, spacing throughout right. the entire system. And the, in this case, if you broke a couple of tabs off within a system, you can use those as a replacement and um, make sure that those papers are properly spaced. Exactly. Um, at the very end of our demonstration here, we transitioned to a three inch base, three inch top pedestal and we are using our edge finder. And that edge finder, it's able to clip onto a notepad pedestal. So yep. in that case, we broke all the tabs off and made sure that it was a flush surface. Yep. And we attached the edge finder, and that way we could provide an edge restraint um, for the open roof system that is beyond that. Even so, though what we have here is wide open, mm -hmm. you would never want to have this out in the field. You always want to contain your papers. You yep. always want to have an edge restraint. Yeah, on all perimeters. Um, so that's only the case if you have it the paper system open to a certain portion on the roof deck. You yeah. would want to make sure that edge is contained. Then on top of that, another edge restraint to kind of close that system off so you, you can't see underneath that system. Exactly. So from there, I guess we can talk about our table here. Yeah. And um, what we were talking about earlier with the stay bars and the couplers, in this case, our table is consistent. It is consisted. It's consisted of a four inch base, four couplers and a four inch top. Good. Which that's going to get you to about 24 inches. Exactly. And that's the highest that we recommend um, our pavers um, be sat on top of our pedestal systems. Yeah. Anything above 16 inches in height, we require our Hanover stay bars. Yep. In this case, it's right here. And you want to make sure that each pedestal is um, sense connected mm -hmm. with those stay bars to help um, horizontal movement of the pedestals themselves. Yeah, they usually latch on to then the bottoms of yep. the elevators. Mm -hmm. And the primary function of the stay bars is essentially to stop the points of contact from kicking in on each other because of the weight of the paver, but also because of the support of the cross tie. 
absolutely yeah and with the cross ties um, it's an 18 gauge galvanized steel wire and we have included a brass um, grommet and what that does is it inserts through the coupler around these openings and that you're able to tie that wire through that way when you start to tighten this wire it's not going to break through you know the coupler itself the plastic on the coupler yeah, once you tighten the, 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 the cross ties they get extremely tight they can, they can rip right through absolutely yeah. yeah so we had included cross ties for each intersection basically tying the whole system together yeah and creating a monolithic pedestal system yeah and as you can see in the beginning of our demonstration it could support both of us there's very limited rocking and, you know this is a freestanding unit there's no edge conditions so it really is a strong system yeah. and it just shows you that heights can be achieved you know safely uh, uh, up to 24 inches using these methods exactly. yeah. so i believe that's it today yeah i think we've covered everything um if you have any questions or any comments please feel free to email us at let's get cash we appreciate all your feedback and uh you know thank you so much for joining us today